I'm going to walk you through our stepper motor example. Uh, first thing you want to do is set up your hardware. And in this case, uh, we, I've already got it set up for an ACE 11. But uh, right in this, this section here, you, you tell it how many stepper motors you, you're going to use uh, by just selecting uh, the, the pins that are, are used. You can do this for up to three motors. And uh, you just give it, uh, assign it which digital output pin you want for the step and which one you want for the direction. In this example, we're just going to use one stepper motor. Okay, and once you've once you've done that, uh, then you write your logic. And in this particular example, is it's a very simple one. We set it up as a state machine. If you're not familiar with that, check out our tutorials page. You you can see some other examples of state machines. Um, but what what a state machine does for you is it, it lets you go. Uh, you start out in one state, and in this program, I'm telling it it's state equals zero, and state's nothing magical. It's just a, a tag we created, and we're, we're giving it value zero. And then we uh, we, we go ahead and, and we start our logic, and, and we go one state at a time. Uh, so state is equal to zero, and if it is, then we're checking an input bit. Uh, this is a digital input in this case, and if it is on, then we're going to start our motion sequence. If it's off, then you see we take the no path and we loop back around. And this whole set of logic, it's all one one big uh, loop constantly trying to execute. That's how all state machines are. Um, anyways, if it if state equals zero and the bit it happens to be on, then we're going to do a move uh, a move to a motion out uh, statement. You can see in our, our toolbar here, motion out. That is, that is what gets us there. Um, and I'll actually double click on this and show you how we have it filled out. Uh, you can, in this tool, you select which motor you, to use. In this case, we only have one motor set up, so you can't click on the other ones. But if you had other ones uh, set up, you'd be able to select which one you were talking about. And this tool allows you to do one of two things. You can either uh, move to a location, or you can just tell the motor to stop. And it'll just stop where it is. Um, so. Uh, the first motion, we're telling it to move to location 200. And we're telling it how fast to move at a pace, in this case, of 500 pulses per second. And we've got a soft sta start length. It says over, take 500 milliseconds to get up to this speed. Or if you're at speed, take that long to get back down to zero. Don't, don't do it immediately at that speed. You know, ramp up and ramp down. And then we're storing the current location of the stepper. So as it's doing its motion, as it's as it's reached its 130th step, th that's going to be. Uh, y you'll know that based on you. You can query the the value of location, and you can know exactly where you are. And you'll see we're just about to use that information. Okay, so we tell it to go to location 200 here, um, and then we move the state. We tell it. Uh, place the value of 1 into state, and then we wrap around, and you see the next thing we do is we uh, uh, state will be equal to 1, and then we ask the question, is location equal to 200? Have we reached that destination we were trying for yet? If not, which it won't be at first, it'll loop back around, and it'll just keep asking the question. And eventually, the motor will get to that location, and it'll move to its next thing where we're saying uh, move to location 0. That's the only thing that's changed in this, this block is, is go. Uh, you're going to go back from location 200 to location 0. Uh, what that will cause, it will cause the uh, direction um, the, the direction um, output to, to reverse. It will be going the other direction this time, uh, going back to 0, and then it will send out all of its pulses. And, uh, okay, we're going to tell it the uh, state should be value 2 now. We loop around. And you see, at this point, we're going to go to location 400, and then the next time we'll go back to zero, and then to location 600, and then back to zero. And when we finally have determined that it's uh, it's it's made its final movement, location is back at zero again. We bring it back to state equals zero, and uh, again, this one um, it will cause the the motion to repeat itself if the uh, input is on. If not, that, that'll, it'll just cease there until the uh, input is on again. So we can go ahead and I, I have this plugged into PLC with a, a simulator stick. So we, we can actually uh, debug this. You can see a little bit um, how it looks. So I'll program it. We'll tell it to run, put it into debug mode, and we can look at 
we can actually look at the locations where they currently are. That'll be um, on the left side of all these comparisons where I put the location value. And you can see based on the color here uh, which, uh, which state it's currently in. So it's hanging out here. If I were to um, put a breakpoint here, we could we could step through and you see okay so it's following the no path it's just looping around here it's just going through that forever okay now if I were to flip the switch okay you see this green now it's gonna now start going to the actual motion steps so I'm, I'm gonna let this run and we can just keep an eye on on the the left side of, of this number and you'll, you'll see it increment uh, and decrement so so you see it going up, it actually happens quite fast. So it's going down and up. Uh, I still have the um, the switch on in the on position, so you can see it. It keeps going through its sequence, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip the switch off. So once it's done with the, this whole pass, it'll. It'll hang out there at step equals zero on, until we tell it to go again. Okay, so it's it finishes path, and now it just hangs out there. So we'll go ahead and provide the uh, software for this example on on the tutorial on this tutorial page, and uh, this one happens to be for an Ace 11, but you should be able to easily convert it to work on uh, whatever PLC you've got.